Well, for me, what I think, and um, and basing on what I know that CWDI has set out as their priorities, I know that I believe it was Jeff Powell who had said that he would like to see something happen with the property to kind of anchor it and um, what do you call it? prime the pump to um, draw attention to the type of people we'd like to have build there, and so. You know, when I see when I went to Croatia a couple of years ago and went to Zadar and saw that sea organ on the Adriatic, I'm thinking, even while I was there, I already knew it was perfect for for Cambridge. It's the only one in the entire world. It was designed by uh, a Croatian architect, Nikola Basic. He um, helped the the city develop this uh, redevelopment on their waterfront that was destroyed in bombing during World War II. So what he does, he developed it so that there are pipes underneath terracing along the waterfront um, and the pipes are at different lengths. So they're tuned to different notes and the wind and wave action of the water actually sends out this haunting um, melody throughout the area. And it provides actually not just a, um, a visualistic event, but also an oralistic event. So, you know, the people that I saw there came from all over the world. They're all, all from all across Europe, Asia, North America, South America, they were just so fascinated by the sounds that this this just basic waterfront structure made but just so unique. And I just thought at that time, and I recorded it too, um, that this is something that Cambridge needs to do. So when Jeff Powell was talking about priming the pump for getting people attracted to the property, I thought, well, they're going to develop the, the waterfront anyway into a promenade. What if that promenade included, you know, a bay organ? Now, as far as implementing something like that, I mean, I know there's costs involved, but there's going to be a cost developing the waterfront anyway. And I don't, and I know that the architect in Croatia is in his 70s. He's still alive and he's vibrant. And I, I'm hoping that, you know, BCT Design will reach out to him. I've given them ways to contact him. And if I'll help if I have to, um, but I don't know if it's an Army Corps of Engineers project. I don't know if it's a federal project, a state project, or what kind of assistance is available to do something like that. But I think that's the kind of development that will just um, put Cambridge on the map and make it, you know, working and embellishing the natural resources that we already have will just add such a be such an asset to Cambridge uh, as far as the waterfront is concerned. And I think that's the kind of thing that's going to anchor good development to the waterfront and shows that we're ser we're taking this seriously and we want to do this right. And I think something like this is a good way to show that we want to develop this property right and also speaks to the level of development that we want to bring to the area. Yeah.